Grandma, you take good care of yourself and have a regular lifestyle too. So you definitely have a good spleen without looking at your lips. Many young people eat excessively and like to eat junk food. It will hurt their stomach and spleen and will make them skinny or fat. Some students emphasize too much on their schoolwork and ignore their diets. It will hurt their digestive system too. Furthermore, their digestive system isn't completely developed yet. So all these problems will end up causing them having diarrhea or constipation in the long run. Although adults have a well-developed digestive system, they will also develop similar problems if they don't look after their digestive system. Dr. Li was referring to you and Xiao Bao. Dr. Li, you still haven't introduced the kidney. I know. Men fear about kidney deficiency, so the kidney decides if the man can do it or not. It is just one of its functions. Let me tell you how important the kidney is. The kidney is the root of innate endowment. It determines how strong or weak you are when you're born. It is also responsible for propagating lives and producing sons to carry on the family names. So men fear of having kidney deficiency. The internal classics mentions the kidney stores the essence. The kidney controls the bone. The kidney controls hair. And the kidney opens at the ears, the genital and anus. It means the kidney stores the essential chi, which is the basic energy to maintain life. So if there's enough chi, it will improve the brain, make the bones, teeth and hair grow, and improve the hearing, reproductive, and urinary functions. Also, the kidney controls water, means the kidney adjusts the metabolism of fluid in our body, send the fluid to every part of our body, and expel excessive fluid from our body through the urinary system. In a way, the kidney manages our growth and reproduction and also moistens every part of our body. So, if the person suffers from kidney deficiency, he will feel hot, dizzy, sore and weak at the lower back and knees, have night nice sweat, tinnitus, seminal emission, and the hair loss. On the other hand, if his back is straight, his hair is thick, abundant and has luster, he has good hearing and good eyesight, it means he has sufficient kidney chi. I start to have a hearing problem. Do I have the kidney deficiency? It's probably due to the noise affecting your kidney chi. For instance, the sound of cars running by and of the horns, the voice of talking on the cell phones, and the sound from the headphones can all affect the ears. After a long exposure, any of these will weaken the kidney chi. Mr. Yang, if you can change your lifestyle, your condition will improve. Dr. Li, the heart, lung, liver, and spleen all have official names. What about kidney? Oh, I forgot to mention it. It is Office of Power, and it means it's a powerful man and a bodyguard of the monarch. It's so named because kidney gives people essential chi and makes people strong. If you want to do certain movement, you can't do it without sufficient kidney chi. If there's enough kidney chi, you can move around at ease. That is why kidney is the best bodyguard of the heart. I got it. Heart controls the consciousness means it gives order. 
and kidney stores essence qi, means it has the power to help accomplish duties. Sun, you're fantastic. Dr. Lee, you've explained the functions of the five viscera, but you also mentioned the five viscera and the six bowels have their internal external relationship. What does that mean? Mrs. Yang, you are such a professional, as you have just asked an important question. The five viscera and the six vowels have their own functions, but they also help each other to keep us healthy. According to the internal classics, the lungs match the large intestine that the skin responds. The heart matches the small intestines that the vessels respond. The liver matches the gallbladder that the tendons respond. The spleen matches the stomach that the muscles respond. The kidney matches the three burners and the bladder that the lines of the muscles and the hair respond. This means the heart and the small intestine have the internal-external relationship and control the vessels. The spleen and the stomach have the internal-external relationship and control the skin and hair. The lung and the large intestine have the internal-external relationship and control the skin and hair. The kidney and the three burners and the bladder have the internal-external relationship and control the bones. The liver and the gallbladder have the internal-external relationship and control the tendons. The viscera and the vowels link to each other through the meridians. With the viscera as the main players, and the vowels as the secondary. Dr. Lee, what did you mean by the viscera as the main players and the vowels as the secondary? Okay, let me give you some examples so you can understand it better. Take the cooperation between the heart and small intestine as an example. While the small intestine is decomposing the digested food into nutrients and waste, it needs to be stimulated by the qi from the heart to start working. If the heart has any problem, the small intestine can't function well either. For example, if the evil fire attacks the heart, the small intestine will be affected too and the person will suffer from frequent mictrition or dysuria. If the small intestine has any problem, the heart will suffer too, and will have symptoms like redness and swelling on the tongue and the neck, or having agitation that will make the person sleepless. The next is between the lungs and the large intestine. For the large intestine to absorb water and turn the leftover into feces, it needs the qi from the lungs to make it work. On the other hand, the lungs need the help from the large intestine to breathe properly. If the large intestine suffers from the heat evil, the person will cough, feel tightness in the chest and can't breathe easily. On the other hand, if the lungs can't function well, the fluid won't reach the large intestine and will cause constipation. The cooperation between the spleen and the stomach is that the stomach digests food into chyme and sends it to the small intestine. If the spleen becomes weak and can't send the chyme to the small intestine, it will cause stomach pain, abdominal distension, vomit, and bad appetite. If the stomach can function well, it can digest food properly and will cause pain, 
or vomit. The spleen won't send out the chyme and the body will become weak. After a long time, it will cause malnutrition and fatigue. The cooperation between the liver and the gallbladder is the same like the previous one. The gallbladder stores the gall and the liver controls the secretion of the gall. If the liver functions well, the gall can be secreted to the small intestine to help with digestion. But if the liver can't function well, the gall can't be secreted normally and it will cause the dyspepsia, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and other symptoms. On the other hand, if the gallbladder can't function well, it will cause tinnitus and the bitter taste in the mouth. The last one is between the kidneys and the bladder. The bladder stores and discharges urine and the function is controlled by the kidneys. If there is not enough kidney chi, the bladder will become weak and will cause uneurysis or even urinary incontinence. Other problems like dysuria or even pain during urinating will also occur. From what I have said, you should now realize that a disease isn't always caused by a single organ, but by the interactions between organs. Now I realize the organs are the key to our health after listening to Dr. Lee's explanation. Can you tell us how to maintain these organs in the best conditions? I knew it. You are scared of death? Yet you like to eat. Doctor, please teach us something to keep us healthy.